Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I bring you a video regarding the Clis booting of Windows operating system and uh, I'm using Ubuntu server for the iSCSI target as well as DHCP, TFTP server and HTTP server. So let me give you a rundown here. So currently the system is running so, um, so currently the system is running over the network and as you can see here secure boot is on and let me open tpm details from windows defender and as you can see here tpm 2.0 is available on the system so with this you won't have any issues with playing games that require secure boot to be enabled on the computer to be able to run and also face it ac can run without any issues so let me show you uh, let me first open device manager and you can see okay so okay and uh, here you can see here it is a virtual disk virtual disk scarcity device and if i open tax manager you will see that the disk is sdd iSCSI. sdd iSCSI means over the network now let me show you the network adapter this one is currently running at 2.5 gbps and this also works quite well in 1 gbps also let me show you the read write speed for the for this system so let me go with a smaller file so it will be quicker to read and write and start and immediately you will notice the network receive and sending at 2.45 gbps and as you can see the read speed is close to 300 megabytes per second and uh, we are still reading the test 96 gigabytes per second and you can see here receiving at 2.1 gbps and you can see here read speed is 200 plus mbps most of the time so this is great for those who already have 2.5 gbps lan on their network and uh, if the computers also support the 2.5 GB LAN. If your computer has the 2.5 GBPS LAN, but your switch only supports 1 GBPS, then it will also, it will still work, but the speed will be lower. Uh, in that case, if you switch over to 2.5 GBPS network switch, then you will get similar performance. <coughs> I haven't checked with CC boot or other dickless program. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure what their speed is currently. But it uh, might not be uh, similar to this. Also, let me move over to here. And currently, I'm <coughs> using the Linux server and uh, I'm opening the Ethernet. And you can see here also that the receive and sending speed is well above 200 megabytes per second. So coming back to the Windows PC now, last one is random read and write. Uh, random read and write is not that good currently, I'm not sure, but I'll try to find a way to increase the performance for the random read and write. And as you can see here, we are getting 200 plus Mbps on almost everything, especially with the writes and reads. Now let me try with peak performance and this will give us the IOPS as well as the latencies. So let me just do one pass so it will be faster. Two point five GBPS. That's very good. Okay, as you can see here the 4k random read speed is in microsecond and it's 700 microsecond it's very fast and uh, iops is 45,000. that's very good as well and uh, the server that i have currently i will i'm only using one nvme ssd for both image and uh, copy on write uh, layer so that may be also affecting a little bit of the speed and if i have another dicks to spare i'll try test it with two dicks 
instead of just one and now let's try another one real world performance here in this one it will go sequential 1 mbps random random 4k and random 4k micro speed microsoft In real world performance, it's testing the read write speed at the same time, mix also. So that's why you can you will see a little bit less of read write speed than when doing sequential read and write performance test. Okay, we still have quite a good uh, performance. Now 4K random IFS is well above 5000. 4K random read speed is low, but this can be improved in future and random 4k latency is or speed is 194 microseconds so that's very good uh, okay that's about it for this test let me reboot the computer and show you the boot time now restart let me come back when the computer is at taking IP okay now it's starting to take the IP from the server and as you can see it's quite fast and goes directly to boot with this setup currently I have seen fastest boost fastest boot speed around 20 seconds uh, from DHCP to desktop and uh, yeah you can see right now that's under 30 seconds as you can see it's under 25 seconds and uh, yeah so if you want to know more about how to set this up then you can reach out to me on whatsapp or telegram also you can support me through patreon as well and stay tuned for more videos on how to set this up